We are just gonna one, two, three and crack this egg on. Ah! Ah! <laughs> And in today's episode of Hawker vs Restaurant, we're gonna try ramen. Hello, I'm uh, Sebastian the Chef. I'm Jiao Kenny. We've been here for three years. Our the siro dao chen ben tang mian cha shao, so it's our own. Today, we're going to introduce two kinds of ramen. One is special tonkatsu. Ramen and I have a tonkatsu red ramen spicy. So we are here at Buta King, which is at Beauty World Center. So here we have special tonkatsu ramen. Oh, the meat, uh, the color is yeah. on point. Eh. Oh, the meat really damn nice. Eh. Because the amount of fat is perfect. So like when you are biting into it, right, it really just like melts perfectly with like the meaty lean part. That's amazing. I thought that the noodles, right, weren't very authentic. You might like it. Actually, speaking of gelat. Like if you go other restaurants right that sells tonkatsu ramen, mm. the pork broth right sometimes it's so thick to the point where you just start coating your mouth and that's where the the gelatinous come in. So I think this one is quite on the lighter side. Okay, so we also got the tonkatsu red ramen. So we drank the soup and we got a bit confused because it tasted a bit like laksa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. it is like a tingling sensation. Mm. But it's still not like spicy enough. It's very interesting la, the flavour. Besides the broth, the rest of the ingredients are about the same. So the noodles are the same, the pork and the black fungus. It's very, very cheap. Right? Yeah, it's $6. It's $6.90. Mm. If you go to any ramen shop in Singapore, I'm quite sure it's above like $10. Easily. Oh, yeah. Everything is handmade, like homemade. Yeah. Right? I don't know if it's not. This is a good オープンしたのは先住1年にオープンして方から直接オープンしております。私たちのラーメンは本場博多の豚骨で有名で我々の一番人気の商品はスペシャル豚骨になります。今日提供させていただく商品は一番人気のスペシャル豚骨とゴッ
just has this added fragrance to it, a little pinch of spice. We shall take this to the next stage. Yeah. Everything? Yeah. Everything? Yes. Yes. Oh, no. oh my god. A piece of advice. <laughs> Don't go there before. Mm. It's, not, it's not because it's too spicy for you. Yeah. Because it because just changes the entire dish into yeah. something else. We actually advise you guys to, have, um, to order level 2 or level 3. Mm. That's like the most popular one. Right? Yeah, I think then that would be like a pleasant kind of spice. So what's really cool about this place is they have a lot of sai. So they have ginger, they have spicy takana. So I'm guessing it's like Korean, you have kimchi, this is something yeah. like that cool. And of course they have free flow eggs. So now that we've tried the original and spicy ramen from both places, the ramen at Buta King is super affordable. Even though it's so cheap, the pork really, it, it feels oh, yeah. like top quality. Mm. Yeah. So which one is your favourite chef? I'll prefer the Hakata Kosha. Spicy level 2. Mm. The got fire ramen, I can't let go of my spice. Yeah, I love the got fire ramen. I think what stood out the most here was the broth and of course the noodles. And if you are someone who is crazy about condiments, mm. there are tons to choose yeah. from. So our ultimate choice for Hawker Business restaurant ramen is Hakata Ikosha! If you like this episode of Hawker Versus Restaurant, check out our other videos there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye! Bye.